Lloyds Vic has developed a fully automatic testing machine with a notch milling unit, temperature chamber and a pendulum impact tester for determining the impact toughness of plastic according to IZOD, corresponding to ISO 180 and or ASTM D256. The testing machine consists of the following functional elements. The specimen magazine for up to 180 specimens. The notch milling unit for single notching of plastic specimens. The specimen temperature chamber for temperatures between minus 60 and plus 60 degrees Celsius. The polar robot for the feeding of specimens and the pendulum impact tester for testing according to IZOD. Our test expert testing program is used for the control of the testing machine. First, the operator saves the specimen data relevant for testing in a database, such as, for example, testing temperature and type of testing. Then, the specimens are sorted into the specimen carriers. The testing sequence is determined by the built-in pendulum and the required temperature in the temperature chamber. The specimen magazine is variable and can be adjusted to suit the requirements of the customer. The magazine in this machine offers space for a total of 180 specimens. The robot takes the first specimen from the testing sequence and brings it to the notch milling unit. Once the notch milling unit has received the specimen from the robot, it is clamped and the milling process can start. With this design, it is possible to notch one-sided or double-sided. After notching, the specimen is taken over by the robot again and placed in the interim magazine for a rest. The notched specimens are temporarily stored in the interim magazine until either A. The preselected temperature in the temperature chamber has been reached or B. The resting time of the specimens after the notching process has passed. Once the required temperature in the temperature chamber has been reached, the robot places the specimens from the interim magazine in the temperature chamber. Once the specimens have spent the preset time in the chamber, the polar robot takes them out of the temperature chamber and then they are tested with the IZOD pendulum impact tester. Testing takes place within five seconds after taking the specimen out of the chamber. After testing, what remains of the specimen is disposed of with pressured air. For control purposes, the monitor shows which specimens are in the temperature chamber together with their test requirements and the results. Specimens for tests below room temperature are not run through the temperature chamber. They are tested parallel to the other specimens. For this, the robot takes the specimens directly from the interim magazine to the pendulum impact tester. Because of the integration of a notch milling unit, the specimens can be placed in the machine immediately after production. The machine automatically makes sure that the specimen rests for the required time after the notching process. The variable specimen magazine can hold up to 180 specimens. The single magazines can be identified with coding slips on the specimen grips which avoids any confusion. Specimens can be cooled down to minus 60 degrees Celsius with the integrated temperature chamber. Because of the quick transportation of the specimens with the polar robots, the specimens are tested according to the standards within a maximum of five seconds after removing them from the chamber. Because of its modular structure, several pendulum impact testers can also be integrated in the testing machine or built in later on. 
Due to the high positioning accuracy of the automatic specimen feeding system, subjective influences are excluded. The reproducibility Zwick Prüfen mit Verstand